could the Warriors play a solid game and take care of an overmatched injured team? Answer, yes. There was a war of the clay plays, so I'll show you what I mean by that. It feels like I talk about the clay play every video, but that's because the Warriors have been running it a lot. The play starts off with some confusion. You can see Steph is motioning towards Wiggins. Wiggins is a little confused. He's actually turning to look at Steph to see, uh, am I in the right place? Am I really the one who's setting the down screen? The answer is yes. So in this version of the play, Wiggins is supposed to set a down screen for Bielitsa, who's just off camera there. Bielitsa is going to come up and set some kind of ghost screen. And then in the vanilla version of this, Draymond Green here will set a pin down for Andrew Wiggins to pop out to get a catch and shoot. But this is not that version. In this version, Wiggins sets the pin down and then he goes over and screens for Jordan Poole in the corner here. So that's the way it's supposed to go. And then Jordan Poole will eventually sweep all the way around and get the second screen from Draymond. So this is the stagger screen version of the clay play. And for those of you who are new to this, I call it the clay play because even though it probably should be called something like fist, pin down, ghost, or something like that, it's just the play that was only run by Clay Thompson for quite a few years, so I, I just call it the Clay play. But at this point, Wiggins is kind of confused, and I think he feels like he's done his duty setting this down screen, and he's just going to wander off. Bielitsa shakes off the pretty shabby down screen that he got, and he's going to come over. I don't think he's even going to get close to Steph enough to even fake that there's a screen happening. He's just going to immediately peel off Draymond is waiting for the screen here. You see he's using his hand to motion, hey, come and take my screen. And that's because Poole is coming over here. He's supposed to be getting a down screen from Wiggins, although Wiggins is not really at the right angle. So Wiggins finally comes over and says, all right, well, I, I guess I should come over here and, and get in the way. So Poole now has a screen from Wiggins. I don't know, Wiggins gave JV a little tug on the arm or something, but JV is breaking out into some kind of Irish dance. I don't really understand why he's flopping around like this. Draymond is going to set the second stagger screen. There's a screen. Pools come free. Pools man is locking and trailing him. This player is jumping out to also stop Pool. So Pool is drawn too, and they go very aggressively to trap him and make him freak out but he does not freak out. Whenever two players are guarding one, someone has to be open, that's Draymond. So Poole calmly finds him and drops off this little pass. These two guys are too far away to help if Draymond moves fast. JV is the only one who can stop Draymond, but JV was guarding Andrew Wiggins. And so JV comes to Draymond, Draymond sees all, he tosses it over to Wiggins. JV does a pretty good job of splitting the difference and he almost contests this Wiggins layup, but he also gets him on the hip and he's so big that he propels Wiggins halfway across the lane with that little hip bump. Okay, I call this a war of the clay plays. Why would I call it that? Because the Pelicans, well, let's see if you can figure out what play the Pelicans are running. Starts with a down screen, someone coming up here. Maybe they're going to veer off. It's looking suspiciously like our beloved clay play. And whoever sets the pin down is supposed to then come over here and get a screen to pop out. There it is. There goes ghost screen. And look what's happening. This guy is getting the pin down to catch and shoot. Can they do this? I thought we copyrighted this play. So if you know the clay play, you know that the action is usually down here and how people defend this pin down this pop out but the Warriors are overreacting a bit to this pick and roll in this ghost screen so this man faked a screen and slipped it right away Steph stayed with the ball Damian Lee also somehow is going to the ball so there's miscommunication here I think Damian Lee thought there was gonna be a switch now there are one and a half players on this ball handler Devontae Graham I think really nice quick pass to the open man that's an open three He just misses. Why would the Pelicans be running our play? Well, maybe you don't realize this, but the head coach of the Pelicans is Willie Green, who used to be a Warriors assistant coach, and his second in command, Collins, was also an assistant coach for the Warriors. So they brought over a bunch of plays. They know the Warriors plays, and they've picked out a few that they like. You might not be able to tell because the Pelicans are so discombobulated, but they are running very Warriors-flavored offense. 
So the Warriors become enraged that the Pelicans have stolen one of our plays. So the next quarter, can you tell what play is about to be run? Yes, this is going to be a pin down by Steph for Bielitsa, who's going to come up here, go screen. Steph is going to get the pin down, and he'll pop out for a catch and shoot. See it all happening? So there's the pin down. Steph goes around. Bielitsa's already done his little slip screen. There's the pass. Steph sees the defender overplay hard so he can attack the closeout. He's going to drive right at JV to force him to guard Steph instead of guarding Wiggins. Andre tries to be helpful. I'm not totally sure that this is helpful, but Steph is here. JV has actually sunk back to try to contain Steph's drive. Andre tries cutting right down the middle to also attack JV and to give Steph an outlet. So in theory, JV will have to choose between guarding Steph and choosing Andre. But Steph passes just a little too soon. Plus this defender has sunk in all the way off of Bielitsa to help. So the lane is really congested. Wiggins' man is JV and he's already sunk in to stop the drive. These two guys are following Steph around like they're Thompson and Thompson, just escorting him all over the court. It's a party in the paint, which leaves two warriors open, Wiggins in the corner and Bielitsa in the wing. And Andre chooses Wiggins. And it is good. One last play before they pull all of the main guys. Can you tell what play this is? Bielitsa setting a down screen for someone coming up. Hmm, seems familiar. Yep, it's the clay play. So he sets the down screen. That means that he is going to get this pin down. Damian Lee is going to come up and probably set a ghost screen. It doesn't matter so much what happens here. It's all decoy. There's a ghost screen. There goes the pop out. One angle is a screen to take out Bielitsa's man. That means that Trey Murphy the third, who's behind there, has to jump out and switch, which he does. He gets out there with his long arms. And now Bielitsa just got the ball, and Juan is just kind of clearing out, saying, All right, I set my screen, just go to work, Belly. Bielitsa just tries driving by Murphy. Murphy does a decent job staying with him. Moody sees a seam in the defense and tries this 45 degree cut. It's not a bad idea. I think Moody thinks he's going to cut here and be open in the lane. I think Bielitsa thinks Moody is spotted up. So he fires a laser precise pass. It would have been catchable if Moody was spotted up over here, but instead Moody was doing this 45 degree cut. So this pass is just flying way too fast. It just goes by everybody and it lands, bounces off some small child in the crowd over here. Well, can't win them all. Let's review a key celebration. Jordan Poole goes the extra level. He's gotten up and I think he is talking in Wiggins' ear telling him that he's awesome right up to his face. And he comes out and sticks out the high five to try to get Wiggins the high five on court, full style. And Andrew Wiggins completely does not see him. And I think Poole is saying, hey man, I got five big ones waiting for you here. And Wiggins just keeps on running and Poole tries to hit him down low. That's perseverance for you. You miss the way up high, try the down low. Wiggins finally notices he kind of waves at the down low with his hand here as Wiggins flies by. And I believe there's no contact made. And so Jordan Poole feels like, okay, well, I'm gonna give you some air low fives. Maybe five low fives in the air equals one low five with contact. I don't think that's true, but look, he's gonna try. Wave, 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 wave. The Warriors take the game, and in the end, they won the clay play battle. I believe they ran the clay play at least three times, and I think the Pelicans only ran it once, and the Warriors got more points off the plays. So, all in all, not a bad night.